We trust. We trust that it's recording. So, hi guys, my name is DC, and um, I don't think I'm the right person to be talking about uh, filmmaking because I really haven't made or written a lot of films, right? But I feel like there's I have a lot of opinions when it comes to when it comes to making films because I am exposed to it when I'm studying it. So, if you guys didn't know, I am. I'm currently studying my undergraduate degree in BA film, although very, very slowly. <laughs> I don't even know if I want to finish at this point, but yeah, I've been studying in UP Diliman. One of the things that I learned while I'm there is films are comprised of two things for me. Not really, I didn't really learn this from UP Diliman. I just learned it from the experience that I've had in making shorts or making films in, in my college or in my university. Um, so for me, films are comprised of two things, right? Films are the story, and then there's a storytelling. For me, those two things, the story and the storytelling, they comprise of the two things that you need in order to create a good film. So to me, stories are built on information, and how you present these bits of the story, or these bits of the information, builds the way you tell it, hence storytelling. What I mean by that is, for example, you have this great story about a kid who's growing up and becoming this person, right? I can tell it to you in that way, or I can tell you, I can tell you about this guy who is is very mature, very intellectual, and he didn't really start out that way. He started as a poor kid in the suburbs, or he started as a poor kid in the province where he learned throughout his years of trying and testing and building. Uh, multiple different things and businesses thus becoming this man so that's that's how storytelling changes a story it it uh, not really changes it's how storytelling affects the story because how you tell a story is just as important as how good a story is um information and how and when it is told progresses the story and molds the storytelling so how you progress the story molds how your storytelling will develop basically on the opposite sense of that the lack of information in the story is also storytelling what do i mean by that meaning the way you imply bits of the story the way you imply things that have happened in the past without actually telling it in the story or without outright saying it what i feel like creates a really good film for example, if I if I were to think of an example here, right? The thing that really pops into my mind is if we remember watching the Justice League, the Zack Snyder Justice League, where we see Barry Allen, the Flash, being this kid who's really awkward, really weird. They don't outright tell you about what happened to him as a child, but you can see on how he reacts to Bruce Wayne or Batman on how he was as a child, how he grew up, how he was awkward, he didn't really have friends. You can tell na he doesn't have the experience of talking to people or connecting with people because the way he connects with Batman is very awkward, very prodding and seeing where he can go and where he can't. So that's what I feel like creates a really good film where you imply bits of the story through storytelling. If there's one thing that you should take away from this, from this very short video that I wanted to make is that information is the lock. Information is the lock, but the lack of information is the key. When you can combine the lock and the key, you unlock a good story and you unlock a good film. So, yeah, that's it. Basically, if you guys like this video, don't forget to do all the things. And if you guys haven't watched the previous video, I forgot how to do this. Oh my God, is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. Okay. If you guys haven't watched the previous video, watch over this, watch over here. And if you guys want to do the thing, subscribe over here. So yeah. I haven't done this in a while. Nice.